guys, it's Rachel here. So I have a confession to make and I just, I do something really weird and I want to know if I'm the only one. When I finish a horrible book, I have this constant urge to call everyone on my contact list even if they don't read, even if they're not book lovers, I just call them. I just feel the need to tell everyone my excruciating experience of finishing a book I absolutely hated. The first group of people that I call are my family, and I usually call my dad first, and it always ends up like this. And she just climbed the tree. Even though everybody told her not to climb the tree, she cut. Oh. You have a sports show that's about to be on. Well, that's too bad because I read a horrible book, which means I'm more important than your stupid baseball. When that doesn't work, I call my mom and it goes down like this. I mean, I would have slapped her. I would have slapped her face if she did that to me. I. Yeah, I would. I totally. If she was a real person, I would slap her in the face. I would. I would. What? Well, Okay, okay, fine. I'd probably call her a bitch behind her back, but I would be very upset with her. And then I call my younger brother because I don't know. I just call him. I'm not sure. I just, I have the need, the urge to just call my younger brother who's into video games. I mean, I was almost in tears. It was so stupid. I, what's that in the background noise? Are you even listening to me? Oh. <gasps> My mental health is more important than your stupid Zelda game. Not only that, a lot of the time I randomly slip it into conversation. What's your favorite book? Oh my god, I love Meg Cabot. But you know what book sucks? Oh my god, you can never read. Do not read. I can't help it. It's like, in my mind, I'm doing them a favor. You might be wondering, Rachel, why do you finish awful books? I mean, like, if it's so bad. Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, when you're reading the book, you keep thinking to yourself, this is gonna get better, right? Oh, it's gonna get better. And through the whole book, you just think to yourself, no, this has gotta get better. And it never, ever turns out the way you want it to turn out. The second one is the ending. It just sets you in the rage or maybe some sort of twist that makes you go, wow, that was a total cop-out. Great, I read that whole entire book and <laughs> it was a dream the whole time. Oh, that's just freaking wonderful. And the third thing that happens to me is the book starts out wonderful and then a little bit halfway through, I'm just like, wow, this is not a good book anymore. But I'm already halfway done, so I just have the feeling of, okay, well, I guess I'll just finish it. I mean, why not? I'm over halfway. And then it just, and then I just hate it throughout the rest of the book. What's worse is that I have, for some reason, bought the second book in the series or something else from that author. And, you know, I think to myself, oh, well, that could have been a flop. I mean, the second one, she could have learned from her mistakes. Things could have gotten better, right? But it doesn't. And I end up doing this. And then he's like, but I love you. And I'm just thinking, oh my god, like, I can't eat. Oh, boo-hoo, it's three in the morning. You know, you can be so selfish sometimes. Please, in the comments, tell me, do you do the same thing or am I the only one that has these urges to just tell the world how horrible this one book was? Have a wonderful day and I hope you don't read any books that send you into a rage anytime in the future. Bye.